Here are three integrals from the 2022 MIT Integration B qualifying exam that are actually extremely easy. The first integral of the video, it's pretty obvious, right? I mean, down here you have x plus sine of x, which is some function of x, right? And if you take the derivative of x, you get 1 plus the cosine of x, which is exactly what the numerator is. So you have a function downstairs, uh, sorry about that, you have a function downstairs and its derivative upstairs. So this evaluates to the natural log of the function, which is x plus sine of x, plus, in the words of Cristiano Ronaldo, three. Now this integral, although pretty easy, is actually kind of cool, and I'm glad they actually put something like this on the exam. So you have the inverse tangent of x and the inverse cotangent of x. And now the inverse tangent and inverse cotangent functions are defined for all real numbers x. And there's a useful relation between them. Uh, that is a relation that defines the sum of the inverse tangent and inverse cotangent of some real number. Well, this is something that I learned in high school, and you can actually verify it using a graph too, that if you add up the inverse tangent and cotangents of some real number, you get pi by 2. And you can verify that on a graphing calculator like Desmos or any, or any other graphing calculator, that if you plot the graphs of inverse tangent and inverse cotangent of x, you just get a horizontal line that cuts the y-axis at pi by 2. So that means everything in the numerator is just pi by 2, which is a constant, so let's take it out. 1... 2 square root 3, 1 by x, dx. And this reduces to the natural log of x, with limits being 1 and square root 3. Now the natural log of 1 is 0, so just ignore it, and, you, and you're left with the natural log of square root 3, or 3 to the 1 half, which can be taken uh, as a coefficient of the, of the uh, logarithm. So you have pi by 4 times the natural log of 3. And for the last question, okay, even this isn't really that hard. They just threw in every single uh, every single one of these six trig functions. And uh, the moment I saw this, I had another, in the words of Cristiano Ronaldo, a three moment. And okay, this is actually pretty easy. In fact, although there are some interesting questions on this 2022 exam, uh, the one I liked the most was question 11, which involved infinitely nested sine functions. And I've also made a video solving that. So, and I've uh, provided the link to that video in the description. So do check that out if you like this video so far. And now would be a good time to like and subscribe as well. So this is actually pretty easy because you have every trig ratio as well as its reciprocal. So just gather them together. So 1 by 1 plus sine x plus 1 by 1 plus cosecant x plus 1 by 1 plus cosine x plus 1 by 1 plus secant x. Finally, 1 plus 1 by tangent x plus 1 by 1 by cotangent, uh, 1 plus cotangent x. Now, what to do here is that now that you have each ratio and its reciprocal, you take the uh, expression involving the reciprocal and then just multiply upstairs and downstairs by that trig ratio. In this case, I'm talking about sine of x. Because if you multiply upstairs by sine of x, you have sine of x. And down here, if you multiply sine and cosine, they're, uh, multiplic they're multiplicative inverses. So they just cancel out to 1. And this 1, once you multiply it by sine of x, is just sine of x. So you can write this now in blue as sine of x uh, divided by 1 plus sine x. And the same logic applies here, where you can actually use the cosine ratio here. So you will now have... Oh, sorry about that. The cosine of x divided by 1 plus the cosine of x. And by a similar token, you will have the tangent of x divided by 1 plus tangent of x. And you have a bunch of common denominators here too that really make things uh, a lot more simple. So anyway, you have uh, 1 plus sine of x divided by 1 plus sine of x. And you get and you get the idea. Uh, they cancel out, right? So you're going to have three cancellations like this. You have three cancellations like this, and you're going to be left with one plus one plus one, which is three. So the answer is three x plus once again three. Quote Cristiano Ronaldo. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.